Good Monday morning. As we take a view from our Doral camera, we are actually still seeing a little bit of a peak of that moon, which over the weekend was full moon and really was gorgeous. Right now, though, it's all about that sun starting to rise as we check in from our Doral camera and a gorgeous sunrise from our Key West camera right now with just some clouds out there. Thankfully, we are staying mainly dry except for a few showers that are offshore to the east of Broward County and maybe a few sprinkles I showers begin Beginning to move in uh, near Fort Lauderdale. Winds are calm in Miami Homestead Marathon. Elsewhere, variable three six miles an hour. And right now, 76 in Fort Lauderdale, 77 in Miami, low 70s. Southwest Ranches, Kendall, upper 70s, down through the Keys. We're keeping an eye on this disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms several hundred miles southwest of Bermuda. It does have a medium potential, 60% chance of becoming a tropical or subtropical cyclone as it lifts north and then northeastward. So the good news is that we don't have to worry about in terms of where it will be headed. It's moving away from the U.S. coast. However, friends in Bermuda will have to closely monitor the system. And for us today, highs right around 89 degrees, similar to yesterday with plenty of warm sunshine. There could be some showers in the morning through the middle of the day, and then all the action begins to move towards the interior sections and the west coast. So the future radar showing that there could be some passing showers around 8 and 9 a.m., even around 10 a.m. to noon, and then all the those showers and storms begin to march towards the spine of the peninsula and also to the Gulf Coast, the West Coast side. For you beachgoers, a moderate risk of rip currents, so just be careful. UV index extreme. No advisories for boaters. Winds east 10 to 50 knots, seas to a light chop on the base. Tonight, nice and mild with the upper 70s, with the chance for a few showers overnight into the morning hours and then high pressure later this week, leading to windy conditions. That breeze increasing 15, 20 miles an hour, building seas, rough surf, hazardous boating, dangerous risk of rip currents that'll be increasing as we head into later this week with a chance for passing showers and a few downpours in the meantime hot 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 highs right around 90 through Wednesday then the upper 80s late week into the weekend